What is up everyone? This is Judge of the Techie back again. So Android users, specifically those running Pixel devices, got a system update recently that updated their devices from Android 12 to Android 13. So I thought it would be a good idea to run through some of the new and the best features that Android 13 brings to the table. Let's do it. Though technically an Android 12 feature, an Android 13 support for themed icons has been expanded and opened up for all app developers to implement. Themed icons consist of a monochrome app icon, which then takes on the dominant material U color. Warning though, not every single developer has updated their icon yet, so enabling this feature might trigger your OCD and cause you to rearrange all your icons so that they all match on your home screen. And speaking of Material U, it now has more basic colors available for theming with a total of 16 overall, seven of which are simple tones and nine pastel ones so you can dial down even more on what colors you want instead of just letting the system pick one for you based on your wallpaper. Ander 13 has added two new tiles to quick settings, which are one-handed mode and the QR code reader. Previously, to enable one-handed mode, you had to dig into your settings, but now you can just use this quick toggle to leave the feature on, and when you need to use it, you just swipe down from the bottom of your screen, and your phone's UI will drop down to where those of us with small hands can reach the top. Likewise, previously you used to have to open Google Lens first to pull up the QR reader, but now you can access it quicker using the quick settings tile. As long as the app supports extra languages, you can now have one app displayed in a different language than the rest of your phone. As of right now, app support is limited, but that's because apps will need to get updated. But this is definitely something that will be useful for folks that speak more than one language. If you ever wondered which apps are running in the background and impacting your battery, now there's a quick way to find out. Just swipe down to reveal your notifications, then swipe down one more time, and all the way at the bottom, you will see a new section letting you know how many apps are active. Tapping on this will give you a list of which are these apps, how long they've been open, and give you an option to stop them. You know what else is cool? Having a wallet that warns you when you've left home without it. Extra smart wallets are slim and come in a variety of materials and colors. Plus with RFID protection, they shield you from thieves trying to steal your credit card numbers. These wallets are also very easy to use. They have a neat little switch on the bottom to pop out your cards and IDs when you need them. Extra also uses the chip load technology in its tracker cards, so you can pair with your phone and know where it is at all times. It even works the other way, so you can use your wallet to find your phone. The tracker is also solar powered, so you don't have to worry about batteries. Right now, Extra is running a few promotions where you can take 25% off the total sale price. Just head on over to the link below or head on to extra.com and enter the code JOJO to get your discount. I'll have all this information in the video description below. Many are not aware, but there's a setting on Android where you could double tap on the back of it and make it do stuff. This has been around for a while, but what's new is that turning on your flashlight has been added as one of those options. You can do this by going into Settings, System, Gestures, select Quick Tap to start actions, then toggle flashlight. Then you can just double tap on the back of your phone to turn your flashlight on and off when you need it. Android 13 lets you choose between two different lock screen clock styles, a double line and a single line clock. It's a subtle change, but hey, Android is all about options, right? So to toggle this option, Go to Settings, Display, Lock Screen, then scroll down to Double Line Clock and select it if that's the option you want. When you copy text in Android 13, a small bubble will appear on the bottom left, letting you know that it was just added to your clipboard. You can then click on that bubble and gain access to the clipboard, where you can edit what is already there before you share it. Before Android 13, if you wanted to access your smart home controls, you needed to first unlock your phone. Now you have the option to use them without having to authenticate. To set that up, head to Settings, Display, Lock Screen, and flip the control from Lock Device Toggle. While this last one is not technically a feature, I thought it would be fun to share, and that is the Easter egg built into every version of Android. To reveal it, go to Settings, About Phone, Android Version, then tap on the Android version number until you see a clock. Then adjust the clock's hands to 1 p.m. or 1300, and voila! you'll see an explosion of bubbles that matches your phone's current colors. But that is not all. If you tap and hold on any of these bubbles, they will all turn into various emoji. Cute, right? All right, so that is all for the new Android 13 features I wanted to share. If you enjoyed this video, a like and a sub to the channel will be super appreciated. Otherwise, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.